Let's talk about the Galaxy Note 9. So like, we are talking about the Galaxy Note 9 and we're looking at the device in over 90 days. I'll say closer to 100 in my case. And you're wondering, is it worth picking up now? It's kind of like a should I buy video, but more of a 90 day look at the device. So I've been using the device for that quite long. I picked it up on August 9th. We went to Miami, we shot some videos with it. You guys can check out that. It was awesome using this device for that. And we used some of the features that Samsung pushed out this year with the Note 9. Note 9 has a bigger battery, 4,000 milliamp. The Note 9 S Pen has more functionality with Bluetooth controls in there. We've also used that quite a bit. Note 9 has a vibrant display and look, I could tell you how sharp it is, but you know Samsung makes one of the best displays on the market. But let's talk about day to day. What are the things that I use on the Galaxy Note 9 that makes sense for me? And that's what you should all think with every single smartphone. So the Note 9, of course, for me, battery life is one of the biggest things. I use my phone a lot. I am a heavy phone user. I realized that uh, rather quickly with uh, the devices I've been using at least for the last couple of years is that I use my phone a lot. I wake up in the morning, I get out of bed. Actually, I didn't get out of bed. I start working from my bed and I use my Galaxy Note 9 there. And I have to tell you though that because of that 4,000 milliamp battery life, this thing lasts much longer. And I like that with the Galaxy Note 9. Now, if you're a moderate user, this would be fine. This would last you the whole day with ease. For me, it's about 15 hours. I tend to turn on power saving mode around 3 p.m. just to extend it a little bit longer for me. But I would say the battery life has been good. Now, another question you would probably ask is, what about slowdown? Samsung is quite known for slowdowns. And I have to tell you, in the 90 days plus that I've used the device, I have not experienced a single ounce of slowdown. And just to even add a little bit more to that, going back to the Galaxy S9 Plus, which is now almost nine months, I still haven't experienced any slowdown on that device as well. So that's just something to take note. So um, in terms of software functionality, I think to me, it does a really good job. There are some things that I do really like with Samsung devices uh, in terms of what they bring in software. One of the things is Samsung Pay. I've touched about this in many videos. I like Samsung Pay. When I use it in uh, Miami, it worked out really well there. Um, and again, for me, that's what I use on a regular basis. That's my payment of choice because I can use it almost anywhere. And that adds to what brings, uh, brings flavor to this device. Now you're gonna ask the other question, what about the S Pen? The S Pen is a feature that no other smartphone has. And it's a great feature, one that doesn't take away from your smartphone experience. That's the beauty of the S Pen on the Galaxy Note 9. It's included, you may not use it if you don't want to, and that's fine. If you want to use it, it has some practicality. For me, on my day-to-day, -day, I, I sign a lot of documents, I sign a lot of NDAs. Uh, I see things ahead of time in terms of devices, and the S Pen is such a beautiful device. What I like about it is the fact that I don't have to go to a computer, I don't have to print out a document and then sign, then scan it, and then send it back. I do that a lot. So the fact that I can just pop it up on my phone, sign, and send it back to the company, boom, easy, done. You know, that is really, really cool. Now, that's just a basic S Pen feature we've had for years. There's also the Bluetooth uh, control functionality, which I've used quite a bit, taking selfies with friends, um, you know, setting up to just take photos as well. I think that aspect really works well. And I'd like to see it expand to other applications and things, hopefully open to third party. But for me, that new Bluetooth functionality is, is golden, is how it worked out in parties, holiday events, like things like that. That to me, I think is a nice addition to the device that yes, they've increased the price on. Now, a lot of things in this device also have been boosted up. You've got bigger storage in there as well. Um, you know, starting at 128, you've also got um, a much vibrant display on this device, which is really nice. Uh, speakers are also louder, not the loudest anymore, which is something I've noticed with the Note 9 this year. Note 9 was always the pinnacle of everything. And I think maybe competition has caught up where Samsung really hasn't won in every category anymore, which, hey, competition is good, which means next year we probably will get something super stellar. And hopefully, please, no notch on the Galaxy Note 9 or the S9 Plus. Samsung, I'm begging you. But speaking of things that Samsung can improve, the camera. Now, Samsung cameras have always been good and the Note 9 camera is no exception. The only problem this year is that other manufacturers have actually passed Samsung with that. Now, in terms of video recording, Samsung is still probably one of the top devices. Only other, I think only the iPhone can compete in that category. The Galaxy Note 9 takes awesome video and awesome audio while recording video, which is really, really important, which some people sometimes tend to forget. Now, it also has um, 
uh, front-facing camera, which in terms of taking pictures, I'll be honest, it's not the best. And I think that's where they need to improve a lot. Plus the software algorithm needs some work. Now, I think Samsung has some really good camera lenses uh, in there, a built-in, uh, the dual aperture on the rear camera is really nice. Daytime photos are fantastic on this thing, uh, but when it comes to things like contrast and HDR, and also uh, maybe s polishing up the low light photography, that's where I see Samsung needs to make a lot of improvements uh, because the algorithm doesn't do as much work. Now they've done some improvements and they've done some updates. Scene detection does help with a lot of things, but I think there's still room for improvement just because you look at the competition from Apple, from Huawei and Google, and you see that Samsung needs to do some work there to improve it. Now, one of the things, of course, I love about this device is the fact that it has something that a lot of devices don't have this year and it's really simple. The headphone jack. Yes, Samsung hasn't gone away from that. Of course, they own AKG and you've got AKG earbuds packaged in, which is nice. Trust me, those are really good earbuds that come with your device. And you've got a built-in DAC that is not the greatest DAC in the world, but still gives you some good audio and the audio tuning on there does help. I think overall, when you look at the Galaxy Note 9 and you think about its price point and you think about what it brings to the table, this is definitely a device worth picking up. Now, if you were looking at it when it was a thousand bucks, I would recommend it, but also I have to ask you, look at what you use the device for. If you're going to use the pen more, then it's definitely worth it. Um, if, you, if you're looking for an all-rounder device, it's still definitely worth that price. Now, we're in Black Friday holiday season, there's some really you know, wonderful pricing on there. I have a, actually a link for you guys down below. Where it's priced at about 649, the international version 128. Very solid pricing for it. So again, you really can't go wrong with that, with this device. And I think if you're looking to buy it now where it's a little bit cheaper, it makes a lot of sense and you will not regret this device whatsoever. I just hope next year we get improvements to the camera um, so that, you know, at least we can see some of that Samsung quality there. Improvements also, um, you know, to other aspects of the device like the battery, improve that as much more. We've seen the, the One UI is going to bring some new clean operating system look. So we'll see how all that fits in with this device. But I think overall, I'm still quite impressed with the Galaxy Note 9 and it's still my daily driver. So if you have any questions or any comments, guys, let me know. Don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy entertainment.